How's it going, everybody? This is Vanguard Bandlands bringing you another Seven Mortal Sins Should You Summon video. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. It does not cost you any diamonds. It's totally free. And if you enjoyed the video at any point or time, go ahead and hit that like button. Comment down below. Are you going to be summoning on this banner? The fist, the first ruler. Other than that, let's get into this. Should you summon and character breakdown. All right, so. <clears throat> let's check the first. Sandalfon. Or Sandalfon. I think I'm saying her name right. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, <clears throat> level 90, 15 plus, attack 16, 1600, defense 1300, and speed 1200. Her defense is pretty huge. Her attack is, uh, it's pretty shit. Her speed is great though. Speed is, her speed is uh, very nice. First attack, pre-ludged. And it targets one enemy, deals 75% attack, plus 75% defense as damage two times. When dealing damage, inflicts two stacks of agony. If, and it only tar hits one enemy. If the cast is inflicted by removable DOT, pursue the target and deal 40% defense as damage two times. After that, restore 20% HP to strength type allies. That's a, it's not a bad healer. Agony. Target. Minus 5% defense. Up to 5 stacks. So, t minus 25 defense. Lasts for 4 turns. Pretty good. Just so you're... Allies can attack even more or deal more damage. I mean, now, ensemble. This is a, the second attack, and it targets all enemies. Deals 120% attack as damage to all enemies three times. So three, four, 360? 360%? 360% attack as damage. Before the action, roundly taunt two enemy targets and additionally damages a target inflicted by taunt by 300%. Damn, so you're going to be dealing... Deals 120% attack as damage to all enemies three times. Before the action... Before, okay. The action, randomly taunt two enemies... Targets and additionally damage a target inflicted by taunt by 300% defense one time. So, what I'm, how I'm reading this, it stacks. And that's going to be 660% attack as damage. Uh, let's see. Damage targets inflicted by top by 300% defense one time. Oh, okay. So, uh, so one is attack and then one is defense. 300% is the defense damage. And then the 360 is the attack damage. Okay. Taunt reduces the target's attack by 35%. And the target will only attack the cast last for two turns. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Not bad. So you would have to get her defense up and her health. You're going to have to make sure she can take the damage as well. Now Aurora. 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 <laughs> it's a Dave Chappelle sketch. Aurora. If you know, you know. Pretty racist joke, but it's funny. Her special does 
does target three enemies, deals 190% attack as damage to two random targets, and additionally pursues the damage the three enemy targets with the lowest HP by 75% defense two times. Oh, so it it's okay. So it targets all the enemies. Kind of. Kind of. Because you get two random attacks. So you might be lucky to hit two more enemies that haven't been targeted by the automatic three. After the action, remove control effects from all allies inflicted and and inflix all damage reductions on the two allies with the lowest HP. All damage reduction reduces all damage taken to one for two turns. Oh shit, that's pretty good. Not bad. But remember, it's a good effect, but you have to remind yourselves it's an ultimate. So, the probability of you getting it off in PvP or high competitive play is very rare if this character doesn't die or unless you take builder up to like perfect defense with HP so you have to make sure your shards are on point with defense and HP delegates this is her passive skill when a battle starts, inflicts delegates to two allies with the highest defense. It would be her and probably her technique. That's what I would assume that everyone would have. Or another tank type character like your Belle. That would be another great target because she also has high defense. Both be Bells. Okay, with the highest defense increases their defense by 75%. Oh shit, 75%? Last for three turns. Oh shit, that's pretty good. This character is pretty... Sadolfon is really good for a tank build. I like this character. Rock hard. Oh yeah, this skill is making me rock hard. You know what I mean? After taking damage from... An attack, recover 15% HP, and inflicts crack down on the attacker. It reduces the final damage dealt by the attacker by 50%. Lasts for two turns. So if they have a follow-up attack, boom, reduces the attack by 15%. Pretty good. Triggers during Sadafan's first four action turns. So if she doesn't die, this... Will only proc four times if she doesn't die. Should give you enough time to build up the ultimate. Commute. When a battle starts, gains immunity to crowd control, lasts for two turns. I like that. It's not bad. She's not a bad character. I like her. She's really good. But. This one. Oh my gosh. She is crack. She is on crack right now. Now, Super Prelude. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Interesting name for us, an attack. So, Hell General. Hell General? Oh shit, she's supposed to be a Heavenly Virtue, but she's considered a Hell? Oh, damn. She's the best of both worlds. Sadafon so technique plus 15 level 90 HP 15k attack 1800 defense 1400 speed 1200 speed is pretty much the same as the previous version of her but defense and attack went up to 200 uh, 200 so first attack super prelude deals 220 percent defense as damage two times after action, grants two eyes with the lowest HP. Fortitude effect. If the target is afflicted by crowd control status, grants an ally with the highest attack, assault horn, and increases the ally's move gauge by 25%. Fortitude just 
decreases the cast damage taken amount by 35%. Lasts for two turns. Assault Horn. Attack plus 35%. Lasts for two turns. Turn! That's pretty good. I like that. Oh, she, she, she beefy, bro. She really beefy. Super Symphony. Deals 120% defense. And what does this do? One target. Okay. Deals 120% defense at as damage three times on all enemy targets. And inflicts dis, disordered. Disordered? Order on them. What the fuck? What a weird sentence. Disordered order on them. After action restores the cast HP by 30% and increase all allies, including includes the cast. Move gauge by 30%. Oh my god. Disorder. This status lasts for two turns. When if when infected by this stat, there's a 30% fixed chance to inflict confusion on the cast one turn. It's a little odd, but you know. Now, her ultimate, super, there's a lot of super shit. Super Apocalypse. <laughs> oh shit. Deals 660 defense as damage after action. Inflicts special move seal on three enemies with the highest. Oh shit. Oh damn. You want to get this ultimate off for sure. Seal away. Three enemies move, special move. Oh, you better get her ass speed up. Her defense and her speed has to be maxed out or focused on so hard. After the action, grant all allies gash. I don't know what gash does. That's That must be new. Special move seal unable to cast. Special move lasts for two turns. Two turns? Dude, if someone has a team... That revives with an ultimate. And they're already low on two enemies. Or at least an enemy. That's going to put in work. Damn. This is fucking beefy. The first ruler indeed. She is the alpha and the omega. Gash. Final damage dealt amount plus 25%. Last for two turns. Okay. This is pretty good. Pass the skill. Hail general. Strategy Genesis when the battle begins the cast permanently gains immunity to confusion taunt and defense break So it, count it counters her strength that's pretty good Because The the previous Sadalfon uh, Second attack does the taunt effect and that's pretty good. When the battle begins, primarily, primarily gains immunity to confusion, taunt, and defense break. Simply line destroyer. When the battle starts, or when the battle begins, inflicts block heal to two strength type enemies. Oh, oh, oh. Her ultimate and her passive skill fucks over revives and prevents healing. When the battle begins, inflicts heal on two strength type enemies with the highest attack and inflicts deliberate on two agility type enemies with the highest attack. Block heal when the, uh, it lasts for two turns. Yep, that's all you need. When the affected by this effect cannot be healed for the last two turns, deliberate attack minus 35% lasts for two turns. Unremovable. Damn, man. She counters. Oh my god. God, strength and agility. Oh, shit. That's pretty good. Oh, I want her. I want her. Summon. You have to summon on this character. I already did should you summon. Up to you, but I'm pretty sure by the end of the video that I made for should you summon on Uriel. I told you I was going to summon on this one, and I want this character so bad let's see if i get a free step come on baby all right 
This is how much I want it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Nah. <laughs> oh, shit. I'd probably get the OG version, maybe. Maybe. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. She's a heavenly virtue, so I don't know if they, they would do the statue effect for her. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay. But let's go. Woo we still got the OG version of Sadafon. Hey. New character is a new character. I love it. No, I do not want to buy her. Yeah, her $50 pack. Nah, fuck that. It's pretty. Sh this is the most shittiest deal ever. Don't buy this one. Hell, you can actually, in the Limbo Pass, sometimes you're lucky that they'll throw out one of these. And what? 21 bucks. And you get more trainers. And you get diamonds. You get battle points. This is a lot. This is a lot better deal, you guys. I get this, but your boy is broke. And I don't want to spend that money. All right, but yeah, summon for that character. There you go, a little glimpse of Envy's little skimpy outfit. Her titties fly out, yeah. But summon for this character, you have to. If not, you're going to be left in the dust. This, this character counters strength and agility type characters. Get this character now. Drop godly amount of diamonds. She's she's a fucking amazing technique. So go summon for her now. Don't waste time. Spend that moolah. Get her dupe so you can have her ultimate unlocked. But alright guys, if you enjoyed the video, go and hit, hit that like button. Comment down below, are you going to be summoning for this Sadafon technique character? Because if not, give me your money. I will summon for you. Give me your orbs. Trade me your orbs. I will summon for this character. And if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. And go ahead and share this video to any new players or any community. And let's grow this community together because we're all sinners. Look, we're looking at titties from hell. I don't know what bigger sin is that than enjoying titties flopping out. But alright guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video for the update. But all right, guys. Continue committing sin.